Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to share with you the Lady and Sir Vagabond album that I just finished. It's actually a folio style album, which is a little different for me, and I'm anxious to share this with you. So one side's going to be Lady Vagabond, the other side is going to be Sir Vagabond. So with that, let's just dive in. Um, these are cut aparts from the Lady Vagabond cut apart sheet. This is from the 12 by 12. This is a piece of graphic uh, 45 hardware. Down here, I've um, matted um, the letters for Lady, and this came from the calligraphy collection. Okay, now if you look at the spine, I've used um, just this sheet of paper here, and then this is a cut apart from the calligraphy collection. Okay, so there's two, one on each spine, and I tried to put the ornamental one on the lady side and then the one that's a little more masculine on the men's side. And again, these are matted. They, there's a little bit of dimension here with chipboard in the back. And that, so otherwise it's a relatively flat cover and that's because both sides of the album uh, are, have a cover. So I, don't, I didn't want it to be too bulky, otherwise the book would be sitting in a kind of an, a V even when it was open. Okay, so there's two uh, pages um, per folio, one for the two for the lady and two for the sir. This is a piece of chipboard that I've added here. This chipboard's really cool. Um, and again, that's from the Lady Vagabond. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit because it's going to open up kind of wide. This is a simple page here with um, a chipboard piece here. And then over here, we've got a couple of interactive elements, right? And then I'm going to scoot this down. This is a rather large element that folds down, and then we have it folds up, and so you've got uh, room for photos and journaling on both sides. And um, for this, um, I used a combination of um, the calligraphy and Lady Vagabond. Okay, so that's the bottom part. Here's a piece of chipboard, it's a key. This opens up and down. These are calligraphy pieces. This is from a cut apart from Lady Vagabond. And then this opens up to reveal a very deep pocket. This is another piece of that chipboard. I think it's really cool. I'm just gonna leave this on the side. That closes. And then this closes left to right. And then I didn't point out there's two pieces of chipboard here. Okay, so that's one half of it. And here's the other side. So I put another piece of chipboard here. I'll scoot that over so you're I'm in frame. And um, again, just a nice simple, simple um, large photo mat space. These are bifold cards. These are cut aparts from Lady Vagabond. And then this one I did not uh, back with cardstock because I wanted to leave the lined paper revealed. Another piece of the chipboard. The chipboard pieces are gorgeous and really easy to use. This is a layered chipboard piece here. Goes down. This opens down to reveal that these two, the top and bottom flaps match. And then right here we have a left and a right. And I added two chipboard pieces down here at the bottom. These are cut aparts from Lady Vagabond. And here's another chipboard piece right here. So I actually layered it. There's a stack of, um, of suitcases and I cut it in half because it was a little bit too much for this um, feature. So I used um, a cut, one that's cut in half and then this is layered right on top of it. And then I left it open-ended so you can get a card or a photo back there. Okay. This is from the calligraphy collection and so are the top and bottom ones. And that closes. And then we put all of our inserts back in. And that holds everything closed. And that is Lady Vagabond. So we're gonna close Lady Vagabond. And again, there's the spine. And then when we do, we reveal the front of Sir Vagabond. These are um, cut aparts from the 8x8 collection and they're just back with cardstock and then raised slightly with chipboard. This is cut apart from the um, calligraphy collection. And then this is a piece of graphic 45 hardware. And just as we had in the Lady Vagabond, we've got a left and a right page here. This is a cut apart that's just cardstock backed. This is two uh, pieces of chipboard layered. 
Okay, got another piece of chipboard right here. And this is a cut apart that's um, layered with some cardstock and it's a little tuck spot for us. Okay, so this opens up, beautiful page. And then this opens up, put another little piece of chipboard here. And then this whole flap will also open down and matches the one on top. This is one of the large uh, chipboard pieces and I cut it in half and just spread it across the top and bottom. And I left it open ended so you can tuck your photos slightly behind it uh, once you figure out how you're gonna arrange your photos. And I just ran a bead of glue across the bottom is how I achieved that, okay? And then there's a little magnet that's holding everything closed. Now here's my sort of complicated uh, page, and I'm gonna give you a heads up right now. Uh, I had difficulty getting the video done for this last page. Um, my video got interrupted and stopped and I wasn't aware of it, so part of it is missing. I tried to add some banners to help, um, to help you understand what changed, but you may have to refer back to the walkthrough on page four to see what uh, how it's supposed to look. Um, here is a piece of chipboard, and then actually I layered another piece on top. Another piece of chipboard here. I just loved this. This is from the 8x8 collection, and I wanted to feature this whole image. So I split the sheet in half, but in when you look at it visually, you kind of get the sense of the whole image right here. This opens to the top and to the bottom. And we've got this that opens to the right. Here's another piece of chipboard. I think I put a little, yeah, a little piece of chipboard here too. I need a, um, this uh, actually is open-ended. It's very snug. It's slightly bowed, so it's very snug, but you can slide your photo slightly behind this as a piece of chipboard too. Then you close these two and you're gonna open it to the left, which reveals the map that opens top to bottom. There we go. And you'll see that the, this is from the calligraphy collection, which I really enjoyed working with. And I was glad I added it um, to the collection. You definitely need uh, three 12 by 12s and two eight by eights. But if I had it to do over again, I would have done two Lady Vagabond 12 by 12s and two Sir Vagabond 12 by 12s and one calligraphy 12 by 12. Um, because this is an eight by 10 album, um, the eight by eights don't stretch for the full page. So uh, this is one of the ways that I solved that problem by having a large flap that's almost eight by eight that sits here. So that is it for Sir Vagabond and Lady Vagabond. And I think it's a really interesting idea, this double folio. And I just wanna show you a little bit of how that looks top down. So you got the lady on this side and the sir on this side. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I did have a little difficulty putting it together, so be patient with my tutorials if you decide that you wanna make one on your own. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the overall look of it. It was a little bit more challenging than I anticipated. I'm not used to working with pages that have gussets instead of a hidden hinge, so that was a little challenge for me. Um, but it, it does come together in the end. I used 80 pound cardstock, which is not my go-to. I normally use 65 pound, I used 80. And honestly, I think um, 110 uh, would be a better call because it would create a more rigid um, gusset here on your pages. And as you can see, this is not very stiff. Um, but I was having difficulty finding a 110 that I could score and it wasn't cracking on me. So I settled on this 80, which also works, but you could definitely go heavier if you want to. So I hope you enjoyed. This is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And um, thanks for joining us here at Scrap and Create, and I hope you enjoyed this album. Bye.